turn 51. No choices. Starting to harvest this forest. We know why. Another scout built is interesting. Need the iron. Still holding on. 50 years of this guy. Huh. So I have the option of a permanent minus 40 as Barsids or a temporary minus 40 and 350 gold. Okay. I guess we're taking the cash and we're paying it right back. Okay. All right. Dude, I can't even bank them because I one turn them. That's nuts. I wonder if that's left over. Yeah, it is. They're 24. We're making 24 civics. And they cost 40. That's residual. Okay. Alright, another garrison up. We need another barracks up. Get some more mines. This unit here. Need mines in here. Orders on this tile. Alright, how are our axes doing? Axe spawned here. We're at 111 ore this turn. This one has hill promotions, which are pretty damn good right here. So. I don't quite know what the plan is versus siege engines. Normal counter is horses, but the terrain does not favor horses particularly, and uh, I don't have horse tech, and I technically do have husbandry now, but not chariot tech. Too bad I don't have any elephants. I don't think this could, I mean, getting it to developing lets me get the first round of elephant that lets me move units. That's not great. Suppose I should at least put the effort in. Uh, I really wasn't planning on hard building this master officer. Just haven't had iron resources pretty much at all. <laughs> Every time I look at this, I'm sad. Okay. Uh, how do we make this happen faster? We get some promoted units. that mine online if we can ever get there. It seems like a very sketchy spot. What are our orders like right now? Or rather, what other units do we need to move with our orders? This needs to be an axe. Is there anything else it could possibly be that would be relevant? No. It's 
So hard building this officer, I guess. There's no point. Well, I mean, there's a point I'm putting this online. It would have to be this into garrison into barracks. Or rod uh, garrison is a stronghold. And then we could create elephants from this, this city. Can't build a stronghold until this goes to developing, but that's only three more kills or whatever. Four more kills. There's enough barbs attacking that. I'm sure we'll get there. Is it worth building a garrison right now? Stone. I've got tons of stone. Are there any wonders that can help me? Probably not. Would you like to pay 800 iron? Hmm. Do we need a little food? Mostly we need mines. Oh, just screwed that up. Rip. I was supposed to go there. I thought this was, I don't know why I thought I could move over that hill tile, but I did, so it's fine. No production started that turn. I wonder if this unit ever actually gets to be upgraded. Is it possible to build another uh, worker somewhere? Is this guy the Duke Consort? Can rush now. Not that it's very useful, but we could. I mean, I assume this guy will die any moment, but he's been quite resistant to that idea. Iron is super expensive on this map. Definitely needs a hill promotion. I don't know if I want to leave it on this tile or not. This is barracks, garrison, barracks. And what, we're just building mines around here afterwards? This needs to be a fort. I wonder if I fort and then go back to mines. Either way. Fortification there seems okay. Maybe a chariot could be useful. I don't know, we're not gonna get chariot tech forever. If I don't go sovereignty right now, we're never ever gonna have our own siege engines. And this push will be a little bit slow in coming, but it will essentially be a wall of units with initially some uh, onagers set up in the back with the wall of units. And then it'll slowly move forward with the onagers spaced out. And if I don't have some ability to focus fire via archers or my own onagers or horses or something, I would never be able to kill the front line of units before his uh, siege engines get their shots off. But this is a tech problem, so who knows? Turn 52. 
plus one wisdom. It's like tripled our science. It's possible to get eight generals, probably. So is this our third? Need science. Anything I can do for science is probably worth it. We got a couple turns, so we're gonna get ownered to death. Okay. So we need to kill more units for ambitions before we die. And we need a friggin' religion. A lot of workers available this turn. We need to start mining up in here. Now we can water move past that hill. I was thinking we just chop it along the way, but it doesn't make any sense. Uh, the other thing we're going to need in here is barracks. And I look every turn because I'm always hoping there's something because I have a ton of stone. It doesn't particularly feel like we have much in the way of interesting. Wonders in this one. Let's take a look. Again. I thought there were like three military ones before legendary. I thought there was one. There's the mausoleum, which is the guard one, which we could actually do in four years. 1200 stone, 300 civics, a million years of building. I thought there was another military one. What's cigarette do? That's the cost it looks like such a big science boost 50% but local city science is almost always atrocious so where does this go requirements hill <laughs> hard counter I mean I guess we have one hill in there so we leave this uh, I forgot what it's called immediately. Mausoleum. M A U S O L E U M. Okay. First and last time I'll ever have to spell this. I've already forgotten. O S. I have no idea. Wonder. All right. We need mines. I also start barracks is in here. I feel like I have one military unit that is an absolute trash, and that is the Axemen. They don't really seem to stack super well in large numbers, but. Kind of what I got. Maybe I could get elephants out of this city if we can get its culture up really fast from killing these barbs. Well, there's so many building prerequisites there. It's got to be garrison, elephant improvement, stronghold before elephant, before I can actually build war elephants or whatever they're called. I think they're African elephants in Carthage. I don't really know. I've never built one. I don't even know what they do. Maybe I should look at them. Are they going to be helpful? Melee mounted elephant. Start with route and panic. Okay, so it's a regular elephant, except it also has route. It's melee, it's mounted, it's an elephant. Yeah, how does this differ from a war elephant? 
Six two, 20 HP, starts with panic, doesn't start with route. The war elephant eats more food per turn, no one cares. The African elephant builds off wood instead of iron. And the tier two is obviously stronger. It's a cost and production different, 120 versus 120. How is this a unique unit? I guess it just gets route. I mean, okay. Uh, we don't have forestry, right? <laughs> Forestry is thousands of years in the future. I mean, this is a artisan family. Oh, it's only family seat that urban improvements build quickly. Eh. Let's get mines. Oh, because that's the right worker type. It's like, why is it faster? Okay. Didn't realize it's the right worker type up there. Um, military movements. We've been healing in here. We've got promotions. Promotions are not super helpful. I'm probably not wasting that. Eventually, she needs to be on a ranged unit for maximizing her uh, attack options. She probably takes over the slinger is probably what happens. Quite a nicely promoted slinger. Although three of the two of those are from the boss. <laughs> Alright, we should hit that ambition next turn for kill ten military units. Seventy two iron. All right, both barracks are up in here. We need mines. It's a nineteen year old scholar giving us point two science. That's some serious value. He can be everywhere. Why can he be everywhere? How do we have nineteen year is this our son? Uh, wait, who the hell is this? Grandson. We have a 19 year old grandson we didn't even know about because he's not in the secession. How can he be of no family? Oh, he's a bastard. Okay. That's why he's not in the secession order. There's some weird rules that I'm not entirely certain about with governing and leading units. It's something like courtiers can be anything, your leader can be anything, but then there's some subset that still has some restrictions allowed, which is kind of weird. All right, I guess we start banking decrees. Um, I probably start with the garrison before the elephant since we got a ways to go anyways. And the limiting factor, I could bring another worker up to help simultaneously improve the elephants, but I can't improve the uh, garrison. I can't build a garrison simultaneously with a stronghold. So let's start a garrison. Should have chopped some forest over there. I've got the actions, there's no reason not to. City has no culture whatsoever, especially with our salt being unupgraded, which kind of sucks. Dude, the king is 75. He still leads his, his slinger army to great victories. Ridiculous guy. Just build some mines in the city. Could build a shrine in the city. That would start with culture a little bit. Sure. We've got adjacent resource shrine. Idle HP shrine. Actually okay here. Gives us a retreat location to heal on. So we want that one kind of buried in the back. 
like right there. Kind of tempted to start this too, but. Reason to build it is culture in this city. So maybe one day we can either rush something from it or build something. So maybe it's not even worthwhile. Maybe this should just be a mine, but it does have some military value, just healing. Speaking of healing. Okay, there's orders there. If we ever can get around to upgrading them. Hard building this master officer. Have a garrison, but don't have a stronghold in here. The city can never build elephants, though. Or rather, there's a tech really late in the game that lets us get elephants without having elephants in our city, but it's pretty far away. I think that's about the best we can do this turn outside of having chopped. Kid's 26 and a judge. She's also leading, but she's pissed with us, which makes her stats suck. Six and 12, can't do anything with them. Getting more mines. I mean, we have plenty of mines and borders, really, now that we have the city settled. Okay. Ah. Uh, do we want this unit to help? Maybe we want this unit to help clear this a little bit faster. Turn 53. Pop-ups are... She's now witty. And... Plus one courage. Okay. Ah, uh, we finished the oracle. I forgot last turn when we finished the oracle that we were given vision. So now we can see, yeah, building onagers. So, running inquiries already. How do I see inside that one? Oh, because it's he has two religions founded. So I get two sight from this. He's got his main religion and he's got paganism. They both count. Um, okay. Well, we want to start stealing all the stuff. So let's steal there and here. with two schemers. Schemers get, agents can be uh, any of a number of different types, but the schemers just get these huge bonuses. I think they get 20% of the yields of the city is I believe what the, um, the schemers get. So it's like always just better to run schemers. All right, but that means Onager's coming out immediately. This might explain part of what's happening with the tech. If he's running inquiries from an early, early era, I mean, we had a very bad tech game, but our opponent had a very good tech game. And that might that combination might be what's what happened here. Helps explain things a little bit. Oh look, first onager's out too, so we've got and it's set up. So we've got about two turns before he starts pushing with those. Because the other one will come up and they'll have two and they'll support each other and it'll be a fucking nightmare. So there we go. So we probably don't have long in this game, but we'll do what we can. Grab another decree. No workers this turn. Uh, we'll hit our legitimacy. Are we still okay? We're still alive and well, apparently. All right, kills to her make a lot of sense. We can gain 200 experience in the warrior. Or if we make gold, we can gain triumph, which is permanent military production. We'll make gold. Food seems not so great for us right now. Okay. I do want this camp dead. Before. We're gonna have to pull all these units back momentarily because we're gonna need everything versus these onagers. Probably we have no chance versus them anyways, but we might, we'll see. Can upgrade a warrior here. Kinda wanna have a look around my opponent's base a bit more. Kinda forgot about that when I finished. Kind of a big, big miss last turn. Anyway. Ah, uh, let's see. Care about anything? You don't. So you should take the safety of the 
forest, but aren't you a ranger? You're a highlander, not a ranger. Okay, so let's take this position. Attack into there, attack into there. Eight generals. We could start doing a little bit of that this turn. We have plenty of military points, and we're not going to have the time once he attacks to assign generals, so we could work to try to finish that. Um, all right, so let's look at that. Who can have generals? Four available here. Who are they? They're just a bunch of really scrubby ones. It's fine. What's the deal? Minus 8% attack strength, exactly. What is your problem? Hates us, basically. So when our fucking leader dies off, we might have some chances with this. All right, so tacticians are... Commanders are the ones when they're adjacent, they matter. Tacticians are immune to critical hit, which has never, never struck me as a very good ability for a military leader, particularly. So, all right, so we're looking for blue and red are different families. They have different leaders available. We have no um, artisan leaders available, it looks like. I don't hate upgrading a fully upgraded warden unit here at 100. We're going to want a military production next turn, 63. We actually will have enough iron. So let's upgrade this guy. An axeman. Let's look at no generals able to be added there. Eight, huh? Okay. So we have to hope there's some from this family. There's zero from this family. Eight? Actually, I should have checked. It's what I should have done. Because you can just check available gov uh, leaders. I just thought with so many military and so many points, it seems like an easy ambition. Maybe it will be, but not immediately apparent where I'm going to get them from. So we got to add some generals in here. Um. Plus percent, ten percent versus range unit immune to critical hit. Whatever, sure. Take that one. That's four. I don't really like generaling slingers. I don't really care about the slingers. Two here. Two more needed. Problem is I don't have two available, right? There's zero to be added. He'll die, that'll be minus one. She can go anywhere, which means I can get one more into these families, but there's just no generals of this faction yet, which is kind of ridiculous. How long till our, our um, rest of our family grows up? 13, quite a while, okay. All right, we'll take actions in here. I can't. I, I was surprised. Oh, there's now one. Where did this come from? I, didn't I just check and there was zero? I swear to God, I just checked and there was zero. I mean, it's on. It's on video. Did, I must have looked. Saw. Like, oh, because I clicked on this guy, thinking they're the same faction and they're not. This is the other family. Okay, that makes more sense. This coloring, the the gold versus the red on whatever this background is, looked really similar to me. Okay, so we're gonna add a general here. units throwing at us set up kill it next turn so we only need one more for field eight generals and we have one more blue guy we could add it to i'm sure somewhere general general it's this guy needs to add his last general next turn all right so let's set ourselves a reminder. You gotta do it before our leader dies or we probably won't be able to hit it. A, because the ambition won't be worth as much, but B, because uh, we actually need the leader and he's gonna be gone. And we don't get another plus one because already our daughter's already a leader. Anyways, so that's the combat there. Uh, I have no influence actions because I have no courtiers. Wife is dead, so we're not getting stats from that. We're so I got the scout could move around. Is my other scout still alive? My other scout's still alive, not doing anything. We get a lot of sight off this wonder. Kind of crazy amounts of sight. So stronghold here. 
and plenty of laws. Is this the unique units? These have come back probably to be upgraded and are healing. There's another Onager already out. Weird that this is set up. Like why? Is, uh, maybe maybe he's fighting barbs with it, gaining experience. Has the ranges fully completed? Yeah, this is definitely this is one hundred thousand percent a loss. But uh, let's not give up without a fight. Okay, send it back. <laughs>